Chrome is the most popular browser in the world and Google has been bringing a lot of new features and settings to Chrome desktop and Chrome mobile of late. Which means there are a number of great Chrome settings not many people are aware of. Well, that's what we are talking about today. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to show you some Chrome settings that you should change right away to really enhance your Chrome experience. Now before we get started, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Vegas Movie Studio 16, the latest version of Vegas Movie Studio that brings powerful new features and is pretty easy to use. I'll talk more about Vegas Movie Studio 16 at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get to Chrome settings. Okay, so first up, I'm pretty sure you've all faced errors while downloading large files in Chrome, right? I know, I know, it's super annoying. Well, there's a setting in Chrome that does not necessarily fix this issue, but it does accelerate downloads in Chrome. Now, this setting is available in the Chrome Flags page, which is a page where you'll find all the experimental features in Chrome. You can access Chrome Flags by going to this address. Now, once you're in the Chrome Flags page, just search for parallel downloading. Now, enable it and relaunch Chrome. Now what this does it, it allows Chrome to create three parallel jobs to download a file, thus accelerating the download speed. I personally have noticed slightly faster downloading speeds after enabling this setting, especially when downloading large files. So yeah, this is a pretty handy setting and the great thing is, parallel downloading is available for desktop and mobile, so do enable it. We all know that Chrome is a resource hog, especially when you open up a lot of tabs. And some people can't help it. Like me, I open up a lot of tabs in my Chrome. Well, this is where another Chrome setting comes in really handy. In the Chrome flags, there's an automatic tab discarding option, which you should enable if your PC isn't able to handle so many Chrome tabs. As the name suggests, automatic tab discarding automatically kills tabs based on precedence. So if there's a tab you haven't opened up for a long time and your system is running out of resources, Chrome will kill it to save memory. And when you go to that tab, the page will be reloaded. Well, I think it's a great solution for people who want to open up a lot of tabs while also wanting smooth performance in Chrome. If you're someone who has always wanted to use a more privacy-friendly search engine instead of Google in Chrome, well, there's good news for you. With the Chromium 73 stable release, you now have the option to choose DuckDuckGo as your default search engine in Chrome. Now just go to Chrome settings. Here you'll find the search engine option. Just change it to DuckDuckGo and that's it. You can now search in Chrome using DuckDuckGo, which is great if you want privacy. I mean, DuckDuckGo does not track users, does not save any search results and prioritizes user privacy over everything. Now it's not as good as Google, but if you care about your privacy, this can be a great option. The Omnibox aka the address bar in Chrome is one of the most powerful features of Chrome. I mean it has so many features and it's only getting better. There's now an option to access files on Drive via the Omnibox. Yeah right, you can search for files via owner name like this or search for files based on their type like this. Yeah it's super handy and of course you have to enable this through Chrome Flags. So in the Chrome Flags page just search for Omnibox Drive Suggestions and enable it. Once done, you should be able to search for drive files through Omnibox. Do note that this only searches files available in the account you have logged into Chrome with. So yeah, keep that in mind. There are a lot of extensions on the Chrome Web Store that really enhance the Chrome experience. Well, what if you could access these extensions using a keyboard shortcut? Well, that would be cool, right? Well, yes, you can. All you need to do is first go to the extensions page here, click on the hamburger menu and go to keyboard shortcuts. Now, as you can see in this page, you can assign keyboard shortcuts to your extensions. So I can set a shortcut to easily access the VPN I use or set a shortcut to use the download manager extension. Well, extension shortcuts is another setting you should enable. Okay, so this one is for Chrome Android users. Okay, so we all know that accessing the address bar, the tabs button, the menu button from the top bar in Chrome mobile is so tough, especially on big screen smartphones. Well, Chrome has a new UI that you can enable that fixes all of these issues. 
So in Chrome flags, just search for the Chrome flag, Chrome do it. Now just enable it. Now when you relaunch Chrome, make sure to do it a couple of times, you will see a new bar at the bottom which brings everything you need. There's the home button, the share button to quickly share a web page, the search button so you don't need to access the address bar on the top, the tabs button to quickly switch between tabs and the three dot menu button. It's just the better Chrome interface and more user friendly and you should enable it. I love the touchpad gestures to go back and forward in Chrome, be it on Windows or Mac. And it's something I've always wanted in Chrome Mobile. Well, as you must have guessed, you can now enable these new gestures in Chrome Android. Just go to Chrome Flags, yes, again, and search for Gesture Navigation. Now, just enable this flag called History Navigation with Gesture. Now, once done, you can just swipe right from the center to go back and swipe left to go forward. These gestures are pretty intuitive because if you have a Xiaomi or a Huawei phone, it doesn't interfere with the swipe from the edge back gesture. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Chrome has had different tab switches. There's the usual tab switcher and there's this horizontal tab switcher available to Chrome flags. But if you want a more functional tab switcher, there's the accessibility tab switcher. That was a lot of tab switcher. So in Chrome Flags, you can just search for accessibility tab switcher and enable it. Well, this tab switcher, as you can see, might not be the most appealing, but it's certainly very functional. I mean, even if you have a number of tabs open, you can see them all here and switch between them. You can't do the same with the traditional app switcher or the new fancy horizontal tab switcher. So yeah, this is definitely more functional. Now coming to the sponsors for this video, Vegas Movie Studio 16 is the latest version of the popular video editing software and it brings some great new features. First of all, there's Guided Video Creator, which is basically the software guiding you with different edits, perfect for beginners. There's Interactive Storyboards that lets you quickly edit videos in the storyboard with the timeline reflecting the changes, perfect for quick edits. Plus, there are new features like Hover Scrub, Precise Motion Tracking, 360-degree editing workflow, autosave and backup, and more. Well, the feature-rich yet easy-to-use Vegas Movie Studio 16 is available for a free trial, and its full version starts at around $50. So what are you waiting for? Check out Vegas Movie Studio 16 from the link in the description down below. Well, those were some Chrome settings that you should be changing right away to really enhance your experience. Well, which Chrome setting did you like the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends who are Chrome users. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.